raising is going to. Uh, we've been really lucky. Uh, <laughs> She's my wife, so it's okay. <laughs> um, but we have a, a player that um, didn't have much uh, growing up and just real excellent kid, excellent athlete. Uh, last year we sent him, because of the extra money that we had, we sent him to a rugby camp. Uh, that happened to be a camp that one of the USA Eagles, our national team coach, was at. Um, selected him as MVP of the whole camp. Uh, got him to try out to the under 20s national team. He played for our national team last year, and we won the whole thing in the bracket that we were playing in. So this year, he's the only, he's the only high school player that was playing on that team. Um, they get to go to France and play in the Junior uh, World Cup. So he's still got to try out and prove his, his uh, ability, but we're going to help him get to France because he has nothing. And so right now, he's in Las Vegas. We're working with him. He's training, and we're assisting him, and he's working. Uh, to make money at the same time, so awesome kid, and your guys is you guys are helping make the dream true for one of our kids in Oakland. So that's amazing. Um, the other thing is we have colleges that are coming down now. Colleges are giving scholarships uh, or partial scholarships for kids to come to school and play rugby, but right now they're not at the point where or football is. So you get them to the college, and they'll give a free weekend of take them around, feed them and all that, but it's how do we get the kids out of state to another school. So Central uh, Washington University stopped by our practice this week, wanted to talk to one of our players and said, any other players you want to send our way, if you get them up there, we'll, we'll show them around. So this kind of thing allows us to pay for their tickets to fly and go see what it's like to play rugby in college, which is pretty amazing. It really opens eyes once you can actually talk to a collegiate coach versus thinking about it. So um, that, and also the, this kind of money goes to supporting the low-income uh, kids with all their fees. We just make sure that they're uh, responsible and, and write a letter thanking the donors. So your money's doing a lot. Um, if you keep on our webpage and all that kind of stuff, you'll see the amazing things that happen every, every season for us. So in order to move on and have a lot of fun, uh, I'm going to have Dustin come up, and um, I've got... My good friend Pete, I played rugby with Pete, there's some other guys here I played rugby with. Um, before, we had a, a brother and a, and a former teammate of ours pass away uh, recently, so the guy loved poker, he was a really good, awesome brother, loved him to death as a brother. So after it does, it goes through everything, we're just we're going to ask for a moment of silence for him. Uh, he will do it, and, and then we'll move on to having a lot of fun. Thanks guys, we're going to do a uh, Texas Hold'em No Limit Tournament. Very simple, the blinds are going to be starting at 5.10 and go up from there. Um, there's a uh, software we have in the back that will manage all of that. Um, everyone's going to start off with $1,000 in chips. You have an opportunity to, uh, to purchase more. So every $50 more will receive another $1,000 in chips. Every $25 additional will receive another $500 in chips. And we'll run that through uh, round 7, 8, and 9. Um, and uh, it's typical Texas Hold'em style. Um, uh, have all the blinds will be 15 minutes. And all your dealers will be able to help you if you are familiar or unfamiliar with the game. We can talk you through that as well. Okay? Sweet. All right. Uh, right before, before you do the most science, can we get one more round of applause for the NFL alumni for coming out? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I gave you this honor when I said I was going to sign up for the tournament. I asked that we have a moment of silence for our friend who we recently lost last year. He exemplified everything that was great in rugby, and it was a pleasure and an honor to get to know him, but we lost him way too soon, like some you do in your life. But we all got to meet him, and it was great. Excuse me for choking up. His name was Alex Oculus, and he would have been here tonight playing because he loved poker, he loved Vegas. But he loved rugby and more. So I ask you all to bow your heads. I'm going to count to 20. One, because he loved blackjack, too. Starting. 